Hello and welcome to the ClickFunnels 2.0 versus Go High Level series. In this series, I'm going to break down Go High Level versus ClickFunnels 2.0. It's hit the streets and I want to give everyone a really sneak peek in behind. First up, I'm going to open up both dashboards and show you a little bit about what's going on. And then in further videos, I will link those up above where I will break down feature by feature. So let's jump into the editor and let's have a look first at the ClickFunnels dashboard. So inside of ClickFunnels, we can see right away, we've got a really great dashboard. It is very clean and light compared to what it was. And let's run through it very quickly. From the home screen, we've got a bit of a welcome and a little bit of a launch pad perhaps is what we could call it on how to get started. And there's some quick actions here as well. Really love the quick actions. We can see by the menus for sites and funnels. You can just take a quick look around. ClickFunnels has got what they call a funnel hub or a funnel more than a website website. They're calling it more of a funnel hub. So you get one of those and then you can have some funnels and then pages, etc. And this is where you will find courses. Next, we've got products. We've got collections, discounts and inventory coming. There are some tags and some products here that are available. And I'll break down this a little bit more as we go. We can see at a snap here, our orders, payments, orders, subscriptions, some drafts, some abandons, and we've got some more tags here as well. Contacts, contact tags, segments, and your imports as well. Really great breakdown of the dashboard. I'm liking the way that the dashboard is looking. We've got some analytics, some reporting and live view as well. We've got marketing, workflows, broadcasts, emails, the ones that are grayed out, you can see here are coming soon. Countdown timers, events and deadlines. DKIM, this is our email marketing. And then we've got some marketing settings here. Next, we can see in one place where our sales are. We've got some opportunities, but this section here is not quite flushed out yet. Conversations, appointments, rep management, phone calls and lead scoring coming. And we've got a settings tab. And this is where we're able to take a look at our billing and some themes, etc. And then we've got the payments AI screen and this here needs to be set up. I haven't set mine up yet, but it is to collect all the payments in one place. So ClickFunnels has made a really giant step, I think, towards the future, perhaps with regards to software. And I know high level is kind of like the leader in the space. I'm thinking once we take a look, of course, you'll be able to take a look at it as well and make that decision for yourself. But we can see here that we've got one workspace and in their plans, it states that there are three workspaces available, but it's not written here. It is something that I had to go through to support to find out. So if we just take a quick look at the pricing, we can see that we've got three websites, unlimited funnels, users, nine domains, 200,000 contacts, etc. But we're sitting at the 297. And this is where I'm allowed to have three accounts underneath, probably one to run my own business. So that would be two. And then if we take a look at the high level pricing at the same price, we get unlimited everything as along with unlimited sub accounts and unlimited domains, etc. total with the branded desktop app as well. So you're able to have a lap an app that you can carry on the go. So let's jump over to high level and let's take a quick look. This is my white labeled version. So I have the 297. This is in test mode and a test account. And we can see right away, we've got a launch pad. Same as ClickFunnels a little bit about how to get started, giving you some really quick wins. Then we can take a look at my dashboard. My dashboard allows anyone to see at a glance how many opportunities, pipeline value, tasks, etc., are sitting in my account. I can go next to my conversations tab and I can sort based on all the different types of conversations. So this is very different than what's available inside of ClickFunnels at this time. We also have some trigger links, etc. I'm going to break these down in further videos for you. We already have all of this live as well. A lot of what you see in the ClickFunnels dashboard is not live. This is live and we've got calendars, appointments and unlimited calendars, etc. and everything. Contacts, bulk actions, restore tasks, company, smart list, etc. You can see a lot more happening here. 
importing, exporting, adding into workflows, campaigns, etc. Tagging here. I can also filter from here. Very powerful. Opportunities includes pipelines. We've also got payment screens. And here we can see invoices, which ClickFunnels does not have at this time. We can see orders, my subscriptions, my transactions, all my products, coupons is here, tax settings, and my integrations. And at this time, the integrations that are available are Stripe and PayPal. The payment processor for ClickFunnels is a little bit bigger, a little bit more robust. I'll break that down in a payment video for you as well. Marketing, here's where we start to get a little bit bigger. We've got a social planner, we've got emails, we can put in some templates, more trigger links, and I've also got a, an affiliate manager inside of Go High Level. So I no longer need to work with First Promoter or an outside piece of software to manage my affiliates. Automation, this is active campaign on steroids. These are what we call workflows. Sites. We've got funnels, websites, we've got blogs, we've got WordPress hosting, we've got memberships, we've got forms, surveys, chat widget, media, and URL redirects. A lot going on here, a lot of capability. Things can be very easily interchanged and connected to each other versus what perhaps is happening inside of some of the click funnels. You're able to put a form inside of a funnel and I can't take that form and put it somewhere else. I have to actually build the form again. So a little bit more versatility here as well as with memberships, etc. the way that things connect on the back end. I've also got reputation management, very powerful. Google reviews, Facebook reviews. Oh, don't make a decision today, do we, without looking at those reviews. This can all be automated and connected. Next, we've got reporting. Very interesting, intricate reporting. We've got ads, call reporting, appointment reports. I remember running appointments in an application funnel, and this would have been just a game changer, not having to use my Google spreadsheet. And then if we come down here to settings, we can see quite a bit that is different. We have phone numbers, we have custom fields, custom values. We have integrations that are very powerful. Inside of ClickFunnels at the moment, the integrations, there are no third-party integrations available. So I got that from the ClickFunnels help desk itself. So unfortunately, at this time, there are no integrations. But you can see here that this is really powerful. I can also bring in my Facebook ad forms, and my TikTok ad forms. So this round, I think, goes to high level. I think ClickFunnels is trying very hard. My concern is that Russell Brunson does not want to bring in any outside funding. And developers and running a business at the rate that high level is running to compete, I think ClickFunnels is going to need to bring in some extra funding. Or what we're going to find is the software is going to lag. It's going to take its time to get up to speed and with high level already way out front, I think the obvious choice here is going to be high level. If you'd like to join me on this journey, you know how to find me down below. Lots of ways to contact me. I'd love to get you started. Talk soon.